So I saw you at the hockey game. Yeah, because we went together. But I totally beat you on school spirit. Oh, yeah? I brought this. Oh, yeah? I brought this. Oh, yeah? I brought this. What does that have to do with school spirit? I don't know. Okay, well, let's rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go Jacks! Excuse me? What? Fluffy's reading here. A lot of people think that being deaf just means not being able to hear, but being deaf has its own community, history, and lifestyle. I interviewed Katie to ask her some questions on what it is like to be deaf living in a place like Bemidji where there is no deaf community. Bemidji has almost no deaf community. Yes, it is hard to live here, and it is different from the Twin Cities where I grew up. I have all my friends that signed, all my teachers signed, my family signed. But I moved here because my husband grew up here and he is deaf. It was a big mistake to move here. Who wants to live here? But yes, it's different. But what's nice is that we have FaceTime and the video phone. So I can see my friends through the TV. It's fine, it's different here, but it's not bad. And because that I'm here, I'm teaching sign, so it's not like I'm never signing here. What is it like to have two hearing children and being deaf? It's fun. I see them learn two languages at the same time. Their first language is ASL. Their second language is English. And I get to watch them learn both of the languages at the same time. It's nice because I don't have to worry about where they go for school because they are hearing. So if I were to move, they can go to school wherever. But if you're deaf, school options are very limited. Hey, you want to go swimming with us? No. All right. <laughs> Special Olympic swimming is popular worldwide and continues to grow. BHS has held the swimming portion at the school for many years. Some of the swimming events include walking, freestyle, backstroke, floating, and one relay team. There are 18 students from BHS that participate. Let's see what volunteer Nate Googles has to say. It's Nate Googles, and uh, I volunteer at the Special Olympics swimming program and uh, I really enjoy it it's fun to get out and help a lot of people and it's fun to see their smiles when they get out after their race. My name is Jessica. I'm in 11th grade. I've been in Special Olympics for five years. My name is Wyatt Yarts and um, I decided to come here and help with the Special Olympics because it's something um, fun and I like helping out um, some of these kids because um, they have a lot of talent. Um, Swimming is one of those things where I guess being in the sport, uh, I love seeing other people thrive in the sport. Um, so it's really good to see all these kids uh, do well today. Johnny, me and Roy, Adjurton, I am a senior this year. What swimming event's your favorite though? Uh, swim. Diving. Swimming. Hi. Do you still like skills? <laughs> Boo, what are you feeding her? I'm seeing if she can taste the rainbow. She's gonna end up like Teddy. No. Feed her this instead. That was fun. Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm a Skittles man. So Mike, 
recently just came to our school. And I didn't really know him all that well, but I did notice that he didn't have a whole lot of friends. But now, for some reason, he seems to be the most popular guy in school. I'm not really upset about how I look like. I mean, being the guy made out of Skittles is not the worst thing to happen to you. Could sound weird, but girls like him. Certain type of girls, you know? Girls who like sweet guys. Thanks for joining us for this week's Lumberjack Live. Wait, where's Fluffy? <laughs> Saw VHS. My name's Mason, and recently I was just introduced to this new thing called World Star Pillow Fights. We got the strongest man here at the high school, Jordan Godbolt. You may have heard of him. Legend. And we're gonna see how average students do when they're taken on by surprise. Dennis? Justin the Duke. Oh no! Slide back under there. 